Dear Mom and Dad, I'm writing this suicide note because I've just taken a Don't Judge Me challenge and, I mean, do we really need another obnoxious cunt like me in the world? I mean, there's so many of them already. Just type Don't Judge Me challenge and I can't believe how many people are actually doing this. So in summary, goodbye mom, I love you. Your cooking wasn't the best, but I won't hold that against you. Goodbye. Wow, Ethan, great moves. Keep it up, proud of you. Another internet challenge has appeared from the bowels of Vine's asshole. Last time it was the ice bucket challenge, I believe that was to cure autism or something like that. And this time, it's the Don't Judge Me Challenge. And we're trying to cure ugliness this time. So this girl made a video about how she's getting goofed on online. When she's not wearing makeup, people call her ugly. And when she's got makeup on, people call her fake. Can you believe these people on the internet making fun of other people? What the heck, man? I mean, her video does have a good point. We're not all beautiful, perfect people. And sometimes it feels really bad. You wish you could have a beautiful, perfect body like me. I mean, look at that chub and tuck. That's a perfect, tight body. Not a bad campaign, right? But somehow, the geniuses on Vine turned it into this. Basically, it starts off with them being ugly, aka glasses, unibrow, and pimples, and then they cover the camera, and all of a sudden, buckets of cum, dude. Yeah! Oh, dude, pimples, what the fuck, dude? Unibrow, oh, yeah, dude, look at my fucking hair and hoodie, dude. Hell yeah, glasses, what the fuck, disgusting. Oh, fuck, dude, I grew some tits. <laughs> What the fuck, dude? How does this prevent body shaming? It's literally doing the opposite of your intention. You're just telling people with unibrows and glasses and acne that they're ugly fucks and they don't get to wipe it off and be beautiful like you at the end of the video. Acne? Bye-bye. Unibrow? Bye-bye. Thank God I don't actually look like this, huh? Now, if you're not, if you don't have the right haircut, if you don't have beautiful skin, if you have pimples, guys, uh, bad facial hair. Don't make one of these videos because it's not gonna be good. People aren't gonna like it because it has to be beautiful at the end. That's the whole point of the Don't Judge Me Challenge. If you're ugly in the beginning and ugly at the end, there's no fucking point, dude, okay? I'm, ch I'm trying to do body acceptance and I can't accept your ugly ass body. Don't judge me, guys. I'm not an ugly fuck. Comes right off. There is one good thing about the Don't Judge Me Challenge. It gives us the opportunity to make fun of the biggest shitheads on YouTube. This is E.T. And this is Oct TV. Today we're back in the hood, this time Brownsville. These are the dudes who did pranks in the hood, the great humanitarians behind one of the, the greatest YouTube movement of all time, pranking black people. <laughs> it's a prank! It's a prank! Hey, they're great guys. Well, they've decided to do their own Don't Judge Me Challenge. And considering their history, you know it's gonna be good. Dude, how did you guys think this was a cool setting for a video? You're sitting in your grandma's living room. The couches are covered with plastic. You guys are like 25, you need to start controlling your bladders. Even the pillows are covered in plastic. Dog, that is not a cool setting for a video. Man, these guys are so brave though, honestly. They put red dots on their faces, dude. They put red dots on their faces and they messed up their hair. They're so brave to show themselves like that. I just can't believe it. Oh, hey, by the way, dude, the, these three here on your lip, you, you actually might want to see a doctor about those ones. I don't think those are pimples, dude. Sorry to break that one to you, bud, but nah. I think that's what they call herpes, actually, dude. It's not supposed to grow on your lip like that. Dog, what the fuck have you done to your face, man? It's not too late to change, dude. You could grow back your eyebrows and your hair, man. You don't need to look like that. I appreciate what you're doing for the people, trying to make them feel good about yourself, but you don't need to subject yourself to looking so ridiculous, dude. You look like a fucking clown, man. Grow back your eyebrows and your hair, please. Please, your mom wants to take the plastic off the couch, dude. Stop pissing on the furniture, man. It's not cool anymore. You're like 25, dude. Come on, it's time to grow up, man. Stop peeing on the furniture, dude. 
you need an OG like a Jew, you the best in the worst way. It's on the fucking television now? Dude, look, look up, man. 50 Kings was on your scammer. Stop brassing me, dude.